Welcome to the Geometry Final Review. This is the video for Standard 1. We're going to cover transformations today. And those, uh, the ones in this video are rotations, reflections, and translations. Um, we're going to use the examples from the study guide. Uh, please be aware that as we do this, that we're demonstrating all of them. Okay, I'm going to do a quick little idea to help you see what's going on. I've got one of my shapes here that I put up on this uh, on this graph paper. It's a little bit small for it, but it'll work. If I were rotate not rotating, reflecting across the y-axis, I would basically draw lines that were perpendicular to the y-axis and see how far they are to each vertex. So like this one's two, so I know it's going to end up over here. And then this one is one, two, three, four. So I go one, two, three, four, and I'd find that one. I can already tell that it's going to rot it's going to reflect to right there. Okay. Remember the same thing is true of the y-axis and the x-axis. So here I'm going to draw lines perpendicular to the x-axis when I'm reflecting across it. Now when I'm reflecting across x equals y, um, my figure I'm going to I'm going to go diagonally across the squares. And I can't really say that it's one, but I can say it's kind of like one diagonal and two diagonals. Let's go ahead and do what they've asked us to do. Oh, let's, uh, let's look at the, that was a reflection. Remember that if I have a translation, it's just moving something to a different place, but it's not changing the direction it's pointing toward. If I were to do that, that is not a translation, that's a rotation. So I'm going to just show you some example here. If I were to rotate this figure, then it's going to either rotate around something like that, or it's going to rotate around something on it or in it. So, But it'll change directions if it does that. Okay. Okay, so it says to take the figure, PQR, and it wants us to... Uh, reflect, uh, let's see, take, reflect PQR across the y-axis and label the new image P prime, Q prime, and R prime. So I'm going across the y-axis. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to try not to draw, but I'm, so here's the y-axis. P is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 from the y-axis. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, that's going to be P prime. R is just 1. It's right there. It's R prime. And Q is in line with it, and it's 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Do a little check here. This should be 3. That's 3. Good. Okay. Now I'm going to draw my new figure. I labeled it. Now, on these, be careful because it does sometimes tell you to reflect the new image or. Um, the original. It says reflect the image now across the x-axis. So they want me to take this one and reflect it across the x. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do the same pattern. It's two from the x, so it's going to be two above the x. This one is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And this one is one, two, three, four, five. Let me check that. That doesn't look right. Let me check something here. Count it from the x-axis. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's right. This one's one, two, one, two. This one should be one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay. There's the problem. Okay. There's my new one. Let's see. This was where P went to. It becomes P double prime. Q double prime, and R double prime. Okay, next one says, is there a single transformation that would take me from here to here? Well, I think there is. I might be able to fold it across. Um, let's see if that happens. Let's see if I'm folding across, fold would be in here somewhere, and that might work. But the most direct one is to see if a rotation will work. So I'm just going to use a piece of graph paper and I'm going to assume that I'm rotating about the origin. That's usually a good test place. I'm going to hold it. 
and it does appear to land on it so we have a rotation about the origin so I'd say that this is a rotation around the origin I'm going to do one more thing here. Let's check one thing. I'm going to draw a little arrow because that will help me kind of keep track of how many degrees I'm rotating. See, there's 90. It's more than 90. And there is 180. You can see the arrow pointing straight down. So, rotation of 180 degrees. Let's see, we went that way. Well, that's the same that way. So, we just need to say that much around the origin. Okay, the uh, next piece we have, let's see if we've done everything. Where is the center of rotation? Zero, zero. And how many degrees? It's rotated 180 degrees. Okay. Next, they want to know something about this one. It says, describe the transformation shown, and we're going to go ahead and describe it. Um, Looks like Q started here and ended up here. Let's see, R ended up here. So we're not in the same orientation. I'm going to use this piece really quick. No, we'll use another one. And I'm going to assume it looks like if it's been rotated, it happened right there. So let's do this. I'm going to make sure to put my letters on here. And let's see, let's rotate it like this, and let's see what we get. Yeah, it looks like that would work. I'm not sure how much I rotated, so I'm going to just draw an arrow. I'm going to draw an arrow from my rotation point straight up, just to kind of keep track. Let's see there, going straight sideways would be 90 degrees. And now it's going pretty much straight down, so that is 180 degree rotation. Okay, another way that you can sometimes tell that it's been rotated 180 degrees is these lines often will, will line up if you were to continue them. Okay, there wasn't much to this uh, standard, so good luck.